Hello my sax playing friend, Alexander here from saxophonemasterclass.com. In today's lesson I'm going to show you the C major blues scale step by step. This is very similar to the C major pentatonic scale but we're just adding in one other note and this is what we call the blue note of the scale. Now if you want to get the fingerings and the note names completely free for the C major blues scale just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash C blues and you can get instant access to that PDF which is going to make it a lot easier to follow along to this video. So let's get started. I'm going to play the C major blues scale in two octaves first and then I'm going to show you how to play it step by step. <laughs> So that's C major blue scale in two octaves and we're starting on the low C which is three fingers in the left hand, three fingers in the right and that low C at the bottom. Then we just move up to D so we lift up our pinky finger, three fingers in the left, three fingers in the right. Then we go to D sharp or E flat which is the same fingerings but we press our pinky on that key above the low C. So it's right beside it. Make sure you're pressing that top key and not the low C key. Then we go up to E. So we're releasing those two fingers, the ring finger and the pinky finger, three fingers in the left, two fingers in the right. Up to G, three fingers in the left. Up to A, two fingers in the left, and then up to middle C. And the C major blue scale in the first octave sounds like this. So now we're going to continue into the second octave. We're going to start on that middle C. And now we're playing the same fingerings, but we're holding the octave key here on the back. So we go up to D, three fingers in the left hand, three fingers in the right, and the octave key. D sharp or E flat. E. G. A, and finally C with the octave key. So the C major blues scale in the second octave sounds like this. And that's the C major blues scale in two octaves. Now, like I said, it's very similar to the pentatonic scale, but we're just adding in that blue note, which is the D sharp or E flat. So that's why it's really important to learn your pentatonic scales as well before you start getting into blues scales, because it's a really easy transition to go from learning C major pentatonic scale to learning the C major blues scale. You're just adding in that one note. So if you're finding this difficult, just start with the C major pentatonic scale first, and then start adding in that blue note, D sharp or E flat. Again, you can get the sheet music, the fingerings and the note names at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash C blues. And you can download all of that right now for free and that will help you with learning the scale offline. Now the C major blues scale is a really great scale for improvising with and that's why I created the saxophone improvisation challenge to help you as a beginner start to learn how to improvise using this scale and using the C major pentatonic scale as well. So if you want to start learning how to improvise on the sax absolutely from scratch without any prior knowledge or any musical background, go ahead and check out saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash SIC, which stands for Saxophone Improvisation Challenge. It's completely free and I've had thousands of students get incredible results from this saxophone improvisation challenge. All right, my friend, I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please give it a like and please subscribe because I'm putting out lessons every single week on YouTube. So make sure to go and check out my other lessons as well. They're all completely free. I'm here to guide you and help you with mastering the saxophone step by step. 
All right, my friend, until next time, have a great week and happy playing.